What's up and welcome back to the channel and what you guys were just hearing was the Black Star 3, this little monster amp. It's a little mini amp that packs a lot, a lot of power. Um, this little thing will blow you away. It's a great little practice amp and it's a lot of fun to jam on. And it's got a lot of features for a little, little amp. So um, let's dive right in and see what we got going on here. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to try to pick this thing up for you guys. Because I've got it hooked up to this little external speaker as well. And I just want to show you kind of what's going on here. So this is the front. This is the top of it, not the front. And you have your gain here. You have a button right here. That if you push it in, you get gain. You push it out, you get clear. You have your volume button. You have your EQ button. You have your delay and your delay time signature right there. And then you have here, you have a place for an MP3 to plug in. Or you can plug headphones in it. And then you have the power on and off button right there. So that's pretty much the layout of it. We were playing with it pushed in on the distortion part of it on the overdrive section of it right there. Now let's put this little thing back down before I drop it on the ground. And uh, just to show you how small it is, I actually have it hooked up with an external speaker, which you can buy extra. You can get these little external speakers extra. And they're just a super awesome little amp. It's a three watt amp. Um, and it's got a little three inch speaker in it. But it packs a lot, a lot of power. And like I said, it has it has the gain, it has the overdrive, it has clean, it has volume, it has the EQ, which is the Black Star ISF, that fancy ISF, which you can go to either British or you can go to um, more American sound. And then it's got a built-in delay in it, which is awesome. It's a little solid state amp, but it's super cool and it has some really great, amazing sounds. Now we were just playing with it. We have that little sound that you heard on the intro. The distortion was cooked up, cooked up about three quarters away, right around one o'clock, a little past. Um, the volumes um, on about eleven o'clock. The EQ set in the middle, the ISF, and then the delay is set in the middle as well. And that was the sound that you were hearing when we were playing that intro riff when we were doing that. Um, that That's what you get. The sound you get right there. But before we get into playing a bunch of distorted stuff. I want to go, that was actually, it wasn't even distorted sound, that was the, that was actually on the clean channel when I did that, when I did this one, because I have the distortion cranked up on it. So that's actually on the clean channel. But let's take it down and get you some clean sounds first. So we're going to work on some clean sounds here. And I usually play my clean sounds up on my neck pickup. So you can kind of hear how those sound. And then I'm going to turn my tone down just a little bit. And then you get a nice clean, clean sound. nice clean sound. You get some nice little clean tones out of it. So you get some really nice cleans out of it, and then if you're picking, you want some simple picking. some really nice clean tones out of it so that's kind of the clean channel there's not a whole lot to it got a little bit of delay going on we can kick a little more delay in that clean channel and you guys can hear that now
So yeah, you add a little bit more delay, it's kind of cool. But it's got some nice clean, so you got, you got a nice little clean channel that you can jam on. But most of the time, I just throw it on the distortion channel, kick that distortion up to about one o'clock, and go crazy with it and just kind of... <laughs> crazy stuff like that so yeah the distortion on this is really cool you can play classic rock you can go to a medley kind of sound get chunky stuff it's a lot of fun um, let me cut it back this is at about 10 o'clock <laughs> gives you that um, more real old school 70s kind of rock like that that kiss type <laughs> kick it up a little bit more we'll take it up to about 11 o'clock and then you get kind of more in that ACDC range of that get that more classic ACD kind of AC, uh, ACDC kind of sound when you get to that and then you take it up to about noon, you're kind of still in that same, that same, same, same rocking kind of classic-y thing, you know, like. get that classic sound and then once you get past that noon that's when you start getting that when you get to that one o'clock you start getting into that more of that that kind of chunkier sound you know and that's kind of where I like it at I like it right about there and I like my EQ set at about noon and that's kind of where I like it I'm gonna go through the distortion so if you're looking for that that um heavier sound like that more at one o'clock or a little bit past that one to three o'clock is where you really get that that so if you're playing that kind of type stuff you know and if we kick it up to that three o'clock this is three o'clock then you really get it anything past that kind of gets really bad this is all the way up
You know, it kind of gets crazy. So I usually don't go past the 3 o'clock stage. But we're going to take it up to about 1. And then we're going to mess with the ISF here. So I don't know which one is all the way right, which one's all the way left, which one's British and which one's not, whether it's left or right. But we're going to go all the way left right now with the ISF. kind of the sound you get there. Now we'll take it up to about three o'clock and this is kind of what you get. <laughs> and that's kind of what you get there. I like it kind of up at noon and that's where we're going to go to right now is in the noon position. I feel I like it the best. So let's take it up to about one o'clock and this is the ISF and this is kind of what you get there. <laughs> So I like it in the middle position. That's kind of when I like it. So my favorite settings are the um, overdrive at one o'clock or a little bit past, um, and then my the EQ or ISF in the middle, and then I like the delay in the middle or just about one o'clock. So you get that, you get that, you get that little bit of effect or a little bit less than that, where you just get enough of that delay that there's like one like about one bounce back. But you can get more than that on it. And then you can you know, work on some of that lead stuff. So this is a great little amp. It's a great little practice amp. It has a lot of great sounds in it. It's a lot of fun to play. I have a blast with it. Um, I highly recommend you getting the extra speaker with it because um, it sounds good when you don't have the extra speaker. But when you buy that little extra speaker, it's cool because it's like having a, uh, like a mini full stack. And it just really cranks out there. And there's guys that I've seen that have mic'd these things up and run them through a PA. And they sound really, really good. So you can do a lot with this. 
This is a great little amp that if you wanted to put it like beside your couch or beside your chair when you're sitting there watching TV, plug some headphones in, you can sit there, you can work on stuff, and you're not going to drive people crazy playing. Or you have it, it could be your bedroom amp that you put in your bedroom. Um, all right, everybody, sorry about that. My camera got hot for some reason and turned off. But as I was saying, this is a great little amp to um, take and, and throw in a backpack and take with you if you're traveling, if you're going somewhere, so you can have a little practice amp if you want to jam. It's an awesome little amp. It's a lot of fun. Got a lot of great sounds out of it, and you can just have a blast with it. And I just want to do a quick little demo of it. There's not a whole lot to it, so there's not a whole lot to, to show you. I just did a couple sounds that you guys hear it a little bit, um, so you guys can kind of hear what it sounds like. And um, let's do a couple more little jams, I guess, so you can hear it a little bit more, and then we'll call it a day. So. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a super cool little amp, sounds really great, a lot of fun, little powerhouse. Definitely recommend you checking one out if you want a little cool little amp to jam and take around with you, play some stuff. I love it, I have a lot of fun with it. I still play it, even though I have all these other amps around, I still like plugging in and playing this thing sometimes because it's just a lot of fun. So, there you guys go, that's all I got for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, video blah, 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 blah. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys will check out these little Black Star amps because they're super awesome. Um, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button because that helps the channel. And um, we'll see you guys on the next video. So take care until then.